The handling is a nice blend of sportiness to indulge your inner Sagan, but super relaxed when you just want to ride steadily for 5 hours. Make no mistake, it's a fast bike, it doesn't always feel it on the road, but Strava never lies. Compared to Specialized's two other key road bikes, it doesn't have the same snap and agility as the Tarmac nor the outright savage speed of the Venge, but unless you're racing the comfort of the Rubai is a very compelling reason to choose it. The original Rubai was launched in 2004 and has been through many changes, but most significant was the replacing of the previous Zertz inserts with the future shock suspension system in 2016. This new bike builds on that design with an updated Future Shock 2.0 with rebound and compression damping and on the fly adjustment, a lighter 900 grams claimed frame weight, increased tire clearance up from 28 to 33 millimeters, and a good old threaded bottom bracket. The top of the range S Works models are made from the highest grade Fact 11R carbon fiber, while the base, Sport, Comp, Expert, and Pro models use a Fact 10R carbon fiber frame. The Future Shock 2.0 provides 20 mm of vertical movement at the handlebar, positioned as it is below the stem and above the head tube. This is important because it's about suspending the rider, not the bike, only about 15% of a rider's body weight is on the handlebar, which is where the Future Shock suspension system comes in. As well as providing more comfort, it also promotes the benefits of increased traction, with a claimed 5.8% improvement over a rigid front end. Previously, Future Shock could be tuned for different roads and riders by swapping out the springs, but that adjustment has been simplified with a turn dial. Now, you can twist it anti-clockwise to open the shock for taming bumpy roads, clockwise to firm it up. It's not fully locked out in this position, but firm enough that it doesn't move under your body weight when sprinting or climbing out of the saddle. Impacts of sufficient force will still activate it to a small degree. The other key design focus was ensuring a suitable balance from the front to the rear of the bike. The new Rubai maintains the same 65mm lower seatpost clamp, in relation to the top tube, to allow the seatpost to deflect when the back wheel smashes into a cobble. Specialized has tidied up the design, swapping from a two-bolt external clamping setup to an internal wedge design. This is aimed at allowing easier adjustment, with the bolt hidden underneath a tight-fitting rubber seal. The rubber is designed to be flexible to allow the post to move back and forth. It's easy enough to adjust saddle height, and once set I experienced no post slippage issues. Then there is the new Pay C post which replaces the long-running CGR post. It's a smarter looking design, there weren't many fans of the CGR post, but it maintains the same level of compliance. It's also aerodynamic owing to the fact that it's the same profile as the Tarmac SL6 seat post and is 80 grams lighter. The new Rubai has also spent time in the wind tunnel, with the claimed results that it's more aerodynamic than the current Tarmac SL6. This is achieved via new profiles for the head tube, fork blades, down tube, seat tube and seat post, and the enlarged seat clamp area. There's nothing on this bike you'd want or need to change. The SRAM Red ETAP AXS 12 speed groupset with a 10 to 33 cassette and 46 33rds chainset offers highly impressive shifting performance. It provides a wide range of ratios, I found the right gear to suit all my local Cotswolds hills, and the steps between sprockets ensure you can maintain optimum cadence at all times. Shifting is fast and precise and the buttons intuitive. The brakes are powerful and only occasionally noisy in the rain, but flawless in the dry. The integrated power meter delivers accurate and consistent data and works seamlessly with Garmin and Wahoo computers. The durability of the groupset has been without issue during my time testing it. The Roval CLX32 carbon fiber wheels help on the weight front, weighing a claimed 1,350 grams thanks to the shallow 32 mm rim. They're tubeless ready and the 21mm internal width works nicely with the 28mm wide tires the bike comes fitted with. The wheels provide good aerodynamics with no drawback in windy conditions, they feel direct and precise when cornering and sprinting, and the free hub engages with no delay. Specialized zone turbo cotton tires in 28mm width not only look the part with the tan sidewalls but offer a silky smooth ride feel on all road surfaces, backed up by loads of reassuring grip in all conditions. If there's one complaint it's that they do tend to wear out quite fast and are a little more prone to punctures than some tires. I would go tubeless if I was buying this bike.
the contact points have been nailed in typical fashion by Specialized. The S-Works Power Saddle with its stubby shape and carbon rails is fantastically comfortable and has become my fave bike saddle. The S-Works Carbon Hover Handlebar provides a higher position than a conventional flat-topped handlebar, but I did replace it with a regular flat specialized bar to gain a lower position, I just found it a touch too tall. The future stem looks good, and even the Rubai S wrap bar tape is worth a mention, being cushioning and grippy. Whether you need the future shock is down to whether you want the smoothest bike that will isolate you from lots of jarring impacts. It's a big improvement over the original, being smoother and better controlled, leading to a much nicer ride quality.